what the heck is going on, folks? Oh, yeah. Fooled you. Didn't say howdy, folks, this time. Oh, I'm mixing things up here today. All right. What you're looking at here is an awesome 1968 Honda Trail 90. Uh, I've had these things for a few years, and we've got two of them. And I really, um, with all the things going on, like uh, that bike right there, right there, the TC125, I'm waiting for, yes, I'm going to actually work on it. I am waiting for the um, little, um, um, the heck's that doohickey called? For rule, which I did order. So. I can finally get off my butt and start working on that thing. So in the meantime, um, got this out the other day and went for a drive and I noticed, I mean, it runs fine. Um, however, it was uh, sputtering pretty good. So, I mean, it idles just fine. You can rev it up just fine going down the road, you start to get going and it starts to sputter. Uh, obviously, it could be a number of things. Um, it could be uh, the valves. It could be the spark plug, which uh, I'm pretty sure it's got a brand new spark plug in it. But anyway, um, since I've got two of these, and I did find some of my parts, and I had a carb rebuild kit, but I think I put that on the other one and not this one. So what I'm going to do is... We're going to take this carb apart and see if there's anything clogged in it. So that looks to be about 10. So we'll go on hooking some stuff here. Then we'll get moved over to the bench. Those are, yeah, these are on there kind of tight. So, and I do have the fuel off. Just checking. Come on, let's get this little pin off here. Come on. Yeah, I got replacements of these too. So, anyway, that is what we're going to do. And try not to make too much of a mess. You know, I'm going to mark these because you can see there's two here. Um, and honestly, I. I forget why there's two. Obviously one is getting fuel to it. Um, maybe the reserve has a separate line. I am not entirely positive. I think that's what it is. But I will mark the bottom line, bottom little hose. So I know where which one goes. I mean, other than that, this thing runs fine. I do have a buddy seat, which you can't see because I've got the camera zoomed in on the car. Um, which I need to make a bracket for it because the brackets that are on it don't uh, line up to anything. So, get my little pin out here and we'll put a mark on it. Come on, pin. Um, anyway, the speedometer... Uh, doesn't work too well. It does work, but not well. So there could be an issue there, which I just got to take the headlight bucket off, um, which I'm not worried about it. I mean, whoa. okay. Um, actually, I need to crimp <laughs> that line off. Oh my gosh, where's all my stuff? I got stuff. Got little little line crimpers. Of course, it ain't got a whole lot of fuel in it, but we definitely don't want to be uh, running fuel everywhere in the garage. So that one should be clamped off. Harbor Freight, thank you very much. Yep, that one worked. Um, let's see if I can get this top one off here. 
Well, I hope everybody had a very good Labor Day weekend. I worked on the house. As you'll probably see my video I put out there um, with the uh, window in the upstairs of my house, which, yes, I did get off my butt and I put it in the car and I took it down to Lowe's today. So they are going to order me, so they say, the proper window. I hope that one is clamped off enough. Well, we're about to find out. I don't like these little springs they put on these things. They don't work too well. They're ancient, and I'll end up replacing them anyway. But I don't know if this one's going to actually wipe off any fuel. Okay. I don't know how bad that's leaking. So we'll stick that up. Kind of there. Alright, so we got that off, got that off. We got another nut over here. Drain, which is hard as a rock. Let me uh, pop over to the other side. I'm going to take off that breather hose. JIS works just fine. I think I'll just go ahead and pull that off. Um, where's that? I don't think a mouse got into it. I could be wrong. I had a mouse in the house the other day. I went and set the uh, Traps out. See if I can catch him. Safe trap. Humane trap. Okay, there's that, there's that. And there you go. I'm guessing you can see what I was doing. Yeah, you can see what I was doing. I can't see my screen too well. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can pry that thing off. that thing's crap and it's a little brittle not too bad let me oop, uh, get off the floor here get some paper towels set down I'll bring you we'll come over to the day, table here desk over there sniffing gas because it got into the wood all right so let's put you down here Let me zoom you out a little bit okay 
Okay. One carb. All right, let's. I do not have a carb kit for this. But um, I'm hoping I can reuse everything in here. And I don't have to go buy nothing. Well, them screws definitely aren't on there tight. I know the, I know the uh, built-in pet cock works just fine. And I know the choke, which I'll show you that the way this works. So here's a carb right here. Uh, I think, like I said, I think that's the reserve. That's the fuel in. And here's your fuel on off reserve. And this lever here is your choke right here. So if you're looking inside of it, when you pull it up, it closes and opens. I always forget. I need to write something on here, but this thing has been sitting in the garage on my Harbor Freight. Uh, what did somebody say? They posted a comment on my Harbor Freight cheap method of putting a floor in there, which it even states in the description that it's the cheap out method, cheapo method. Uh, what the heck did they call that? I forget. <laughs> they were di they were dissing me because it was so janky looking or whatever. But you know what? It still works. It's still holding. It's not rotting. I put down plastic on the floor. You know. I mean, it's a Harbor Freight garage. Come on, people. Uh, we got some gas in here, so let me let's see if we got floaters down in there. Clean out my cup. That way we can look down inside of it and see if we got debris. Oh, I can tell you there's debris in here. <laughs> oh yeah, there's definitely debris in there. Look at all that stuff down there at the bottom. Yeah, I'm guessing it sucked up something. So let me get my car clean. Yes, I will at some point take this apart and put it in the ultrasonic. Whoa. Tell you what, I'm going to hit that with a little wire brush. Well, when I was driving it around, I it, sound, it kind of sounded like it was clogged or had sucked up some dirt. But anyway, back to what I was going to say is this thing is set for quite a while and I think it I think it fired up on the about the fourth or fifth kick really and, and I think before I uh, after I clean this thing I will uh, I've got some inline filters here somewhere I'll go ahead and put a filter in it yeah, that's a nylon brush I think, it's good. I think all my metal brushes are bent Let's see if I can find one. Nope. Go back down to Harbor Freight and get some more wire brushes. But in the meantime, I will use a grout brush because they're pretty stiff. Eh, looks better. Okay, so there we go. That looks clean. Floats look good. And let's shoot that. OK, 
Okay, let's take uh, those out. Man, I hope I got a tiny screwdriver for those. I know I had one that I had shaved off. And then there is also a tiny, tiny socket in here. See if I can shoot some car cleaner through this thing. That did shoot through it, but what we can also do, let me find those. Here, here I thought I was being prepared. I am not. Um, I swear, one of these days I really need to go through and organize my toolbox. That has, you know, I was going to do it last winter, and I don't know, let's just say life events. And that will not go all the way through. And that will not go all the way through. But there are jets in the side. And those go through. Tiny. I got them on, uh, I think Amazon. And they work. By the way, don't, don't spray this stuff in your eyeballs. Okay, so that one goes there. Where's the main? Tiny little wires here. Does that go down through? Yes, it does. I think there was something in there, though. Well, I'm telling you, man, Pert near need reading glasses for this thing. It's small, but it goes kind of through. I mean, I can blow through it. I don't, I don't think I have a smaller wire They work out plugged. Okay, there's that one. Start the bottom. You can see, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them holes in there. What focus? Let's see if I can get the focus. There are tiny little holes in the end of that. So and I think this is the smallest size I have of these. Let's see here if I have one even smaller. And it don't look like it. Yep, this will work. As long as I can get it in the hole. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. I couldn't resist. Tell you what though getting it into those holes. That is a challenge. And I don't think those holes line up on the other side. Doesn't look like it. And those holes do not appear to be the same diameter on one side versus the other side. I don't know. That's going to have to do, guys. OK. 
Okay, so let's take some of this and shoot it down inside that hole. Okay, that's clear. Clear. Where am I missing? Is there another jet down there? No. If there is, it's pretty wide open. Let's see. Give me another small one here. Or a bit bigger than that one. So you can see the right there it's coming out. Okay, guys, I'd say that's clean. Uh, the gasket is in good shape. So that's a win. So I showed you before that the choke works just fine. But, and there is a screen here. I do not want to try to pop that screen out. Let me shoot some down this other hole. See where it goes. That goes all the way through. I don't know. Maybe it just sucked up some dirt. Um, if that don't work, well, then we'll be on to something else now, won't we? Uh, I guess while I got you here, I can pull the carb out. These do not need to go in He-Man strength. They just need to go in. And I think, did I shoot fuel through that? Okay, let me open that valve up. I'm going to shoot some through these right here. Just make sure we're not getting any. Nope, that's working. That just shoots right back out. Uh, I did test the drain. Uh, overflow valve, that is working. Wish I did have my... What's under there? What do you think that is? Let's open it up and see. I don't know, but it looks like there's gunk in there. Oh yeah, there's definitely gunk in there. See inside there? There is gunk. Maybe it's a built-in uh, fuel filter? Wouldn't surprise me. Honda is pretty, uh, pretty good with their stuff. Overpriced. I think, but you do definitely get what you pay for. All right, so that's done, that's done. Um, yeah, I definitely need to put some more wire brushes on my list. I mean, I'd, I'm going to take it right back off, so I guess I really shouldn't bother too much. The ultrasonic can take that stuff right off there. So let's give it a shot. Now, I should be wearing rubber gloves. I'm spraying that crap everywhere. Okay, it looks fine. Okay guys, did it go that way? Or did it go? It has to go that way. I don't think it'll go this way. No, because that uh, overflow valve's in the way. Okay, so that is the way it goes. itch. 
I think. Well, I like to think that um, it was just sucking up dirt. But time will tell. Um, I guess I uh, could pull a plug. But it was it was kind of hit and miss. Um, it would come and go, so that's kind of what led me to believe it was getting some dirt plugged up in it. And there's a ton of stuff down in the bottom of that cup. Let me see if I can get you an overhead shot of that. Look at all that that's sitting down in that cup. So that's what I'm guessing. It uh, sucks something up. Get you back into position here. Hopefully my big old fat head's not in your way. Okay, so. Ooh. One of these days, guys. One of these days, I will have me a lift. But until that day comes, I do not have a lift. Well, I could. Should get my uh, heat gun. He did a little bit. It's not that bad, but it's the easiest thing to get in. Well, come on. I don't think I need to let it out anymore. Things are jabbing into my hand. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, piece of crap. Whoa! Don't want to break it. Let me give me a pair of gloves on so I can jab myself. Should have just done that to begin with, right? Back down in. JIS. Okay, that's good and tight. <clears throat> Yeah, I know. Being lazy, <coughs> I should have uh, <clears throat> taken it off. That way the screws are on the same side. But like I just said, I'm being lazy. Because I'm going to have to take it off anyway. Uh, I'll take that off. I'll take the uh, intake tube off. And I'll put all that stuff in the uh, 
vibrator, ultrasonic. But anyway, like I said, I will get a, uh, well, I'll see if I can get that O-ring. It's good to replace that. Um, I'll check that one down there. Okay. That's on, that's on. I will try to get... this more anyway so I'm not too worried about it. It's not like I'm going to drive it all over the place because I'm not. I think that one is right there. Yeah, yeah I forget how much these things were but they're pretty cheap for a set of them. Okay, uh, they're green, which I will replace that because it is stiff as all get out. But it's on for now. Okay, let's turn our fuel on. Let's see <clears throat> how many kicks it takes. Okay, let's turn the choke on. Turn our choke off. stuck guys <clears throat> well didn't that sound wicked yeah I don't know let's see
a beast, man. Let me get my flash. Make sure I'm looking at to see that um, little nipple down in there. Like I said, I may have to take the car back off. Because you can't really see. It has to be the way it goes. Because there's your idle adjustment screw right there. We're going to find out. You would think it wouldn't be that hard to screw in. this hose on the other side that don't feel right let me that didn't I don't think it even tightened down it's on here was it on this side I can't remember I don't think it was, but I don't remember, so I'm going to find out. I don't think it was, but I had that carb off when I took that out. Let me loosen them bolts up. Then I just loosen them up and up to move them back a little bit, a hair. Yeah, I don't feel right.
that'll be something for another day. Uh, take that out and clean it up too. Maybe it was sticking a little bit before I didn't pay attention. fuel leak from something. I think it's that filter. Well, we still got fuel. Let's see if the uh Minor setback, but uh, yeah, that slide was just sticking a little bit. No, throttle seems fine. So, anyway, there you have it. Uh, I'm going to run it up the street. I'm on my camcorder, so I can't record that, but I will bring you back here in a minute. There you have it. That was indeed the problem. And oh yes, that cable does go on the uh, right side of the bike. So I wasn't listening to you, but I uh, put the camera out in the yard. And uh, put the camera out in the yard, turned it back on, went to turn the steering wheel and uh, handlebars. And uh, yeah, I don't raise, jump back up. So it definitely goes uh, over here on this other side. So there you have it, guys. Uh, zip down the road. Uh, wasn't sputtering. I'll still go through it. I gotta check timing. Uh, I'll check the plug again and do all that basic things. And I think what I'm gonna do is, for the time being, I'm just going to buff this because if you're looking at that side, oh, we got a cat fight. Uh, that side was buffed, and I, the fender, the front fender, and uh, the front forks. This side was not. It's probably not the best lighting, but it definitely is shinier. Um, we're just buffing it out by hand, and I just uh, have been using this. So, there you go. I got something else done. I want to get other stuff done. You see me throw off the buddy seat. Um, actually, let me get that. I'll show you uh, the issue I'm having. Yeah, because I forgot I just had it sitting back there. Okay, here's the buddy seat. And you can see those two brackets right there. Well, they mount 
it's supposed to mount right back there and obviously it sits like so problem is I can't get those brackets to line up with anything and see these holes right here and here they didn't put those threaded inserts in there so I may take this down to Lowe's so I can see what size nut that is or bolt and uh, see if I can rig up something that way but if not I can um, you're limited on space I'll show you since we're here can't get anything through here can't get anything through there obviously up in here you can't get anything you know uh, sockets you can't get up under there with a wrench uh, it's just too tight so now I got to figure a way to get that mounted I do have another seat cover uh, in the house I found that so um, maybe that'll be another thing but I I got some flat stock back there I may see if I can fashion something up um, to where I can mount it um, I mean the seats nice looking but yeah I can't get mounted so anyway uh, thought I'd just make a quick short video on this thing uh, bring it back out I probably did a video eons and eons ago I think we got these things in like 2020 2019 and, you know, other than putzing around the yard and stuff, I haven't really drove them much, rode them much. I keep thinking car talk here. So, uh, anyway, that'll wrap this up. Bring you back on something else. I know i got to take apart the speedometer, see what's up with that. Uh, like I said, I'll check some other things on it. It shifts through the gears. Okay, fine. So, I, I'm not seeing any issues there. And, uh, yes, the high and low def uh, still works. Um, for those who don't know what these things there is a lever down here, uh, and you can put it, put it into high and low, high and low range. So, anyway, I'm rambling. Got to make me some dinner. So, I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you got something out of it. Pretty simple fix. Easy to do. Didn't even require a carb kit. So, that's a win-win. So, you guys have a good evening, and I'll catch you on the next one.